So the Peconic Estuary is out at the east end of Long Island, where the bay in between the two forks at the end of Long Island. One impact we're expecting to see from climate is not an increase so much in the amount of precipitation, but in the patterns. We're expecting it to come in much larger, but less frequent events, so much greater storminess. We're seeing rapidly rising sea levels, which is impacting wetlands, as well as groundwater. We're seeing rising water temperatures, which is impacting seagrass, which is a really important habitat in our estuary, a nursery for fish and shellfish, especially our iconic scallop population. With the um, increased intensity of the storms, we're more concerned about even more of the shoreline washing out into Shinnecock Bay. We're going to lose more of the trees that are around. If there's going to be stronger wave energy coming, more um, rain, sea level rise, you know what's going to happen to our cemetery. This is where our ancestors are located. Faced with climate change impacts that already threaten shorelines, drinking water supplies, and fisheries, the Peconic Estuary Program is conducting a vulnerability assessment of the risks they face from climate change. As we're assessing our vulnerability to sea level rise and storminess, saltwater intrusion into our aquifer, if we can quantify what those impacts will be and how soon we expect to see them, that will help us justify funding to provide living shorelines, protect habitats at the shoreline, make room for wetlands to migrate inland, things like that. EPA's Being Prepared for Climate Change workbook is guiding them through the vulnerability assessment process. The workbook will help them identify, analyze, and prioritize climate change risks to develop an effective adaptation strategy. Our kind of our core group. The Climate Change Vulnerability Assessment Workbook is really a great tool because it lays out very clearly the steps that are necessary to do this risk-based vulnerability assessment that we need so that we can incorporate climate change into all of our goals as we are updating our comprehensive conservation and management plan. The Peconic Estuary Program is also working on climate change planning with the Shinnecock Indian Nation. This collaboration will help each of them produce a better assessment and find ways to act on climate change risks. Doing the climate change vulnerability assessment is important to the Shinnecock Indian Nation because it's going to give us the opportunity to revise the climate change adaptation plan that we have, strengthen it, and actually get more community involvement. It's not so much about controlling Mother Nature, it's about identifying and acknowledging that change is coming and how are we going to plan so that we can remain here, um, so that our children's children will always have Shinnecock. As impacts accumulate and knowledge increases, the benefits of acting now become apparent. While they conduct their program-wide vulnerability assessment, so the, the Peconic Estuary Program is already implementing projects to reduce climate change risks. On the islands where we're placing dredge material to enhance marsh island growth, we're also trying to plant plants to get, give those wetlands a head start. We are reconnecting a formerly connected area to tidal flow to restore a wetland. And this area has berms, old historical berms from dredge deposit drainage. And we're going to break holes in those berms so that we're not restoring the wetlands all the way upland, but as sea level rises, making holes in those berms will allow the wetlands to migrate inland on their own. Really, at the end of the day, what it comes down to is making sure that the decisions that people are making in the face of a changing climate are starting to account for the fact that having a natural coastline, having a, a healthy and natural uh, estuary is something that our communities value, that our communities would want to be a part of. 